So this week, we're gonna go out and identify different trees. And the reason why we're doing this is because Mr. M and I, we love to come out and just do this in our spare time. We bring our different resources out here, we flip through the books, and we try and find out what the trees are so that we can learn more together. Now what Mr. Mernion has, he has a resource that you can find online, and I'm gonna put a link to that down in the description. And you can go download it and find all the common forest trees in North Carolina. Let's go ahead and find some trees. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start our class fire. You wanna put your hands together? My special guest, ready? One, two, three. Thank y'all for starting our class fire. So today, these are the five leaves that we're gonna be going through. To give you a little preview, we have the dogwood, the loblolly pine, the sweet gum, the red maple, and the oak family. So we are at the dogwood tree. The dogwood tree, the flower is actually our state flower, which is interesting because the dogwood flower is actually not a flower. There are teeny little flowers on it. But to identify the dogwood, um, we have two things with this one. We have the bark and we have the leaf. Now the bark looks like a bunch of little tiny plates all stacked together. And you can see based on my thumb how small the plates are. The leaf though, we have the veins that wrap around from the center midrib around to the top. And they're always gonna curve like that from the middle up around to the top. And so that's how you can identify your dogwood tree. So the loblolly pine, and that's kind of a funny name, you can say it with me, loblolly pine, is the pine that you're gonna find most around North Carolina. And when we look at the needles, it comes in needle bunches of three. So you can see one, two, three needles to a bunch. And then also the cone, the pine cone, has these really spiky ends. And so if you ever pick one up, you wanna pick it up gently because you might poke yourself if you don't. And so if you find one with spiky cones and three long needles, you're probably at a loblolly pine. So here we are at the sweet gum tree. This is another one that's really easy to identify because of two different things. One is the leaf, which you can see has five points on it and it kind of looks like a star. That leaf, you can also crumple up and smell, and it smells really sweet. And it's called squeak, sweet gum because it actually has the gum inside people used to use as a gum to chew on. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it, it doesn't taste very good. I've tried. Uh, the other way that you can identify it is the seed pod. And it's this little spiky ball and they drop right below the tree and they kind of hurt to walk on if you're walking barefoot. Um, but it's spiky and it has up to 50 seeds inside it. And so if you see these, you're probably at a sweet gum tree as well. So another easy leaf to identify is the maple leaf. Now you might have seen this before. A lot of people think of syrup because syrup comes from sugar maples. But in North Carolina, if you find a maple, it's gonna be a red maple. And one way that we can tell the maple is it has three to five points. The edges are gonna be kind of jagged and quite often it's gonna have the red on the stem. And so that's an easy way to tell if you're looking at a red maple leaf. So we're quickly gonna talk about oaks. Now, there are a lot of different types of oaks. I'm gonna show you leaves from a bunch of different ones, but all oaks have one thing in common. They all have an acorn. Why don't you come close and take a quick look at this acorn. So this is an acorn. You probably found ones that have been bigger than this. Some might be longer than this. But if you take a look at the leaves, all these leaves look very different, but they're all part of the oak family. Some have points on the end, some have rounded lobes, some are just straight, and they're all different, but they're all part of the same family. And so the one way that you can identify it, again, is to look for an acorn. 
Thanks for joining us to learn about identifying leaves around North Carolina. I hope you all learned a little something, and I look forward to seeing you next week.